So here we are for another lovely day in Sons of the Forest, and we have a new update, or we had the update the other day, but finally I get to actually play using the update. And one of the big things, uh, they changed a bunch of things. They've added a new cave system, they moved some stuff around, but the big thing is we finally are supposed to have the water collectors. I just gotta find where they are. There we go, rain catcher in utility after the rock path and stick path. Uh, I kind of was thinking, like, surely they're not going to have it where you just place a stick down and you have to do a certain arrangement to make that work like that. I mean, honestly, I don't really have to have these at the moment because, I mean, look at that. Got water all around here. Also got a fish that's kind of like trying to walk on land. No. Denied. There we go. Rain catcher. And it's a much more meaty looking rain catcher than the first game. Much more realistic, you know? We didn't take time to properly scrape everything out. Since last time, and oh, hey, look, there's a bunch of deer showed up. I haven't been seeing them over here for a little while. All right, that last time, I got the shovel. As painful as that was. I got the shotgun, because I, I, that was the first place I thought of to use the shovel, was, you know, that one where oops, there's the big purple beacon. But... There's also, and I believe that's the right one. I can't remember for sure. But when I was playing initially, first episode, I stumbled across the site, one of the little green spots there that had some golf carts and a spot that actually had an icon show up for a shovel. It actually said, you need to dig here. And so I'm going to go there and try digging. And uh, I don't see anybody. Oh, okay. Another abandoned camp now. Here we go. The first spot I found, technically, that was a dig spot. Uh, again, when I was, you know, just starting, came down from the, the snowy area of the mountains. And I remember it because it actually showed a shovel. Uh, looks like a hatch underneath, so I guess I just kind of have to target the right area. Because with the, the grave site where I got the shotgun, I basically, at one point, I hit, like, that magic spot, and it just kind of exploded. Uh, and uncovered the rest of the, there we go, like that. Yo, it just explodes and uncovers the rest of it. Like, magic. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, that's a little more realistic. Maintenance A. All right, so the buried maintenance hatch. Or maybe not even buried. Maybe it's just a case of, you know, rains, mudslides, something like that covered it up. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe they didn't intentionally just bury it. Uh... All right, there we go. Yep, okay. Uh, let's get this out. Take a look around. Oh, we got some crates. Uh, totes. Storage. That's it's a tote. It's not a crate. It's a little tote. Ah, ah nine millimeter. All right. Oh, wait, what was that? Babies. Ah, babies. Come on. I know you want to hit me. Who brought the mutant babies down here? Seriously. That was... That was bad. They need to be in the kindergarten. All right. Oh. Oh. What was that? Firefighter axe. Okay. So we're going to have to test that out. See how it fares in comparison. All right. Uh, they really got the music pumping in here. Uh, so we got some. It says raw meat. And I'm assuming that it is thawed out. That's not like, I mean, that's not going to keep things cold with the door wide open. It's wasting power. Right, let's see what we got here. Zoom. Uh, at afternoon, it was discovered that a painting from Mr. Puff. This personal collection has gone missing. All right. I wonder if that's supposed to be the painting. I see. I see. Guy in armor with what looks like rib cage type design. A samurai sword, katana, and a, a head. Because that's totally normal. What you that's what you want to put in your painting. All right. They're staying nice and healthy in here. Got some ways. Got a little, uh, you know, bike. You know. Uh, you know, so it had some uh, digestive problems, maybe, on the bed. Uh, oh, we got a dead body. Pennant line book. Yep, okay. Um, it's okay, good enough. I'm not actually reading the back of it. I don't know why I'm doing it. I can't see the text. Just put it away. Yeah, there we go. Um, tuxedo. Oh, so they came in here dressed in their tux and decided to uh, end it all. Like, look, alcohol... Uh, yeah, they just had a party before, uh, taking themselves out. Uh, album cover. Cool. 
Uh, got some CDs. We got a uh, turntable. Turntable is playing. See it moving. But I can't turn it off. St stop the music. Stop the music. Oh, laser sight. I didn't even see it. There was like, it was, I was just clicking around and right here we got a laser sight now. Okay, that's interesting. Let me grab this tech armor. Pistol. Laser sight. Okay, good. Goes on top. Does not go underneath replacing my flashlight. Let's check this out. Boom. Oh, boom. That doesn't help me there. That does not help. It helps like this. Like, uh, you know, almost hip shot, but it doesn't help when I'm actually trying to, like, focus it. Like, that kind of feels like it gets in the way. Well, I guess that's it. So, time to head back, test out this new axe. What the? How did you get off of the island? I trapped you on the island it, at the end of winter. You couldn't leave, and now suddenly you teleported out. Well, I hope you find your way back, you moron. Okay, we got to do a proper test with two, uh, you know, close to equal trees. I think these two work. This one, or let's see. Uh, yeah, that's too short. So we'll do this one. Let's see how many wax it takes. I was like 20. I, I don't think that first one I did where I took out the bush counts. So like 20 hits. Now firefighter axe. Ten. Ten hits. So twice as fast. Uh, well, you know, half as many hits means it'll be twice as fast once I start actually. Like, you know, chopping stuff down with it. So, yeah, that's good. This is higher damage. About same defense. Looks like it's a little slower on the firefighter than the modern axe. Well, you could just, like, put them side by side. The fence is about the same. More damage. And I'm going to say a little slower. But you know what? Uh, that's fine. If I need a faster attack, I'll bust out a different weapon. Um, Kellen? Where, where'd you at? I'm like... Look, I'm like right here. There he is. So he's just like, I'm going to hang out underwater now. He is a fish. Kelvin is now doing even worse. Oh, and that's another thing they said they approved in this last update is they increased the, I think, the brightness of the torch in first person view, which made me question, is there even third person view in this? Because I, I can't see that and i'm thinking that means they increased it for multiplayer where if you're holding it you see better but the other people don't get to see better <laughs> it, which is kind of weird but yeah okay i remember this one and i just thought that i got another one that i could probably go and test the key card with uh if i remember which one that is i'm getting some of these caves bit stuff now key card hey it works all right Okay. Well, uh, did I hear something? Oh, I see it. Babies. Yep, some babies there. Still sounds like something's shuffling over here. <laughs> babies! No more babies! Oh, I hear it. I hear, like, what sounds like another mutant. Uh,. Crossbow. Okay, cool. There we go. Ah, no, you don't. You know what? That's it. Here we go. Yes. Finally using the shotgun. There you go. There's a lot of crossbow bolts here. Uh, I see the, the containers. I just want to make sure I'm not about to be ambushed. Okay. Oh, I've, I've got to really start storing some stuff. I've got to get some work done on my base so I have room to build all these storage shelves, start just organizing stuff, you know, not have to worry about running out of room. Oh, is this big? I wonder if this is that area I saw from the shovel cave. And oh, great. Getting in the water. 
Does that at least mean that I'm not going to be attacked here? Uh, please don't let there be a mutant in here that comes just, you know, running through the water like it doesn't exist. Also, the fact that there's electrical sparks is not at all worrisome, me being in water and all. You see, let's, yeah, let me check here and see. More, oh, God, it just keeps going. All right, I saw a key card door over here. I'll see if my key card works. Because I'm down on my batteries. I haven't restocked yet. Key card? Wrong key card. Okay. I hear the music. I wonder if this is like the other side of that uh, spot from the other cave. Uh, the one where I first found the 3D printer. So I've got a key card. And obviously, there's at least another key card. I would think there's probably more than just the two key cards. So I'll have to go find those at some point. But that, you know, a new area. Yeah, I might be able to go a little bit further. But, you know, I, I don't want to lose what I got. Oh, perfect. Instead of cannibals, I have mutants at this location. All right, let's see. Uh, oh. oh, okay. Got him in the neck. And that did not take him down. So I will say it doesn't do twice as much damage as the uh, regular bow. Where'd you go? Took my, my crossbow bolt. No, Virginia, no. There we go. Oh, oh, not down. Still not down. Go down, fool. There you go, down. Give me my bow. All right, so this is the cave that, it's not a cave. It's not like it shows as a cave. It shows as a point of interest. And what the, I got stuck for some reason. It shows as a point of interest and it's where I found that first, yeah, the first little facility and where I found the first 3D printer and also, yeah, more tape and oh yes, right. There's a, there's batteries. I think has been putting here. I need so no batteries, but plenty of printer resin. Y'all, I'm just gonna fill it up because I'm running out of printer resin. Or room for printer resin. There's batteries. Oh, this card works. And it's very dark in there. Like, exceptionally dark. Oh, yeah, this is the gym. All right, somebody died trying to work out. Man, you pushed way too hard, let me tell you. Yeah, you got that. It's a nice, full-fledged little gym area. Let's see, the yoga relaxation room. Come in here, take a nap. Got some plants around, yeah. Lift the world. Nah, I'm good. I don't want to strain my back. Okay. Pool. Uh, of course, we got babies. And that one was just running through the water like it's nothing. Like, oh yeah, we're not affected by drowning. And then more bikes. Exercise bikes. Uh oh, I mean, why is it all spread out? What's the deal with... I guess this is like the class area where you come here... And you got the instructor like, hey, yeah, go, go, go. And we got uh, a gray over there. Okay. Now, that was a headshot. Come on. Oh, that, no, that was not a miss. That was right through the head. Come on now. All right, there we go. Yep, two shots to take one down. All right, that, that's a little easier if I get them without them coming after me. Oh, I yeah, had two hits. Down. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, one-handed. Yep. Like a proper John Wick. Toss it up in the air. And just grab it and sh sh yeah. Let's see, is this a oh uh, flotation tank? Like uh, yeah, when you go in and it's uh, it's supposed to help you kind of separate. Uh, they definitely spent a lot of time designing the environment. And look, oh yeah, there you go. I don't think this is where the shovel was. You know what? Let's see, uh, slug ammo. 
Oh, that? No, there's no way. That just went through. Oh, again. Look at that. Slug ammo. Now, I've noticed that with even the pistol that I'll be shooting right through them. And it's just like, it's not hitting them, even though I'm like right there and shoot right through them as though they don't exist. Oh, yeah. Let's see, three shots. If it used the first two, I would save me some trouble. Okay, now I cannot switch ammo type. Uh, yeah, okay, this is bugged. I cannot switch ammo type now. All right, upstairs. If I could get upstairs, that was a little goofy. Got the pool floaties. Uh, oh yeah, not even like glass here. This just like straight. We're gonna use the texture of the wall in this case. And then another spot, it's here's windows. I say, can I go? Can I go? All right, can't go in there. Maybe that's the other side from the earth spot that I found earlier. We got, of course, you know, uh, you get done with your workout. You come up here, grab a drink, grab a guitar. All right. I am uh, way more interested in the game now, especially, uh, well, if I can actually play it. That is not how you use a guitar. Uh, at least he got tipped well for it. I'm like, oh, hey. Uh, all digital communication be printed out. Do not leave copies on any devices and discard of all communications when done with them. Okay, so don't leave them on your device. Just print it out on a piece of paper and then you're supposed to get rid of it. So, like, deleting it doesn't work. You just can't say, let me read this and when I'm done, I delete it. This is obviously, I mean, that's a lot of money up here. This is obviously supposed to be like a high-end swanky place. Let's see. Guest key card. Okay, so I already got another key card. Nightclub. And that's blocked. Okay, well, let's see. Email. Come on, read it. Read it. Ah. Searching the entire facility is might have more important tasks before we manage to locate the golf clubs. Golf balls still elude us. Yeah, you never can find the golf balls when you need them. All right. Good, productive run so far today. I got plenty of stuff. I actually got some more <laughs> creepy armor now thanks to uh you know blasting away some muties with my shotgun but man yeah two key cards the maintenance key card which got me in well here to get the guest key card and it got me in the other spot which was the the crossbow was it yeah yeah as it, so it was the firefighter rats and the maintenance key card at that first spot where the golf carts are the little point of interest where you dig the to the maintenance place go to the uh dining facility spot and use the card there and i got the crossbow that was in like the the hydroponic food growing area and then i come here to this one on the uh let me pull it up it's right there you know like there's the western shore it's near to was that the cave for the rope gun right yeah cave for the rope gun very close to that and now i got the guest key card so yeah, I say I'm doing pretty good today.